Okay, here's a few more things that came to me late in the day yesterday at the Kenilworth, uh, Kenilworth Street Fair. I didn't really have time to uh, video it, so I'm doing it today. Uh, here's what I got. Um, let me see. 38 and 30. I paid 68 for everything, and most of the games were inexpensive. They're not really great games. They sell in the 5 to $7 range, so I mostly paid 2 or 3 for uh, these games here. Um, but I did get for $30, I got a PSP 1001. I will sell this about $35. Between 30, never more than 40, I, I haven't been able to get for these at a flea market. I mean, I could probably get more if I put it on Amazon, but I'm not going to do it. And then I got an iPod Touch, and it, he said it works. I got, I'll charge it up and see what happens. It's a 16 gigabyte. It probably has music on it. I'm probably going to sync it with mine. I only have an 8 gigabyte iPod Touch now, and it barely holds any of the songs out. Because I buy so much CDs, I'm just constantly putting songs in it. Uh, anyway, so that's what I got. This, uh, this is probably a pretty good deal. Um, I haven't priced them, though, so I don't really know what they sell on the aftermarket. Um, anywhere from like a dollar fifty for loose ones to as much as five dollars for these discs. Um, this is what I got. I got a Lord of the Rings, and I, I mean it didn't even come to a lot when I totaled it up with the guy. But um, he was like, "Fine, I'll take it," because he's like, "I don't play him. What am I going to do? I go to GameStop. They're not giving me anything for him." Um, his girlfriend's like, "That's it," but he was like, "No, no, no. I'm happy." So anyway, got Lord of the Rings, Halo Three. Fun. I mean, they're good fighting games. I like getting fight fighting games and war games. Call of Duty 3. Um, this, I'm not sure where this came from. Uh, maybe he got it. Maybe someone else traded it to me. But it's an open season. It's a nonsense game. I'll, I'll get like 3 or $4 for it. Um, Call of Duty World of War. Uh, Call of Duty MW3. Gears of War 3. Uh, Saints Row the Third. And like I said, I'm lucky because because I'm selling games. And that happened all day yesterday. People will bring me stuff every once in a while. Not all the time. And go here. Um, what will you give me, or can I trade you, or, or I want this much, and uh, it helps me because, you know, to have to go out and look all over the time, I can go to a high, like 50 sales and, and find me maybe five games, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, Battlefield, Battlefield 3 Limited Edition, uh, Ghost Recon, Future Seller, I have no idea if any of these games, I have no idea actually if any of these games are worth more than $10, because um, a lot of them are, well not a lot of them, some of them are new to me, uh, Dead Space 2, like I haven't had that one. Bulletstorm, obviously that's a $9 game. Red Dead Redemption, I've had that. Grand Theft Auto 5, maybe that's a $10. Call of Duty Black Ops used to be worth more, but now I think it's in the $7 range. Um, Brink, I've had this game, it's a tough seller. And then anything Connect, uh, that's that's probably uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Maybe that should be at least a $10 to $15 game. And then uh, Connect Sports and Connect Adventures. I have a tough time selling Connect games. They usually, I usually sell them for about three bucks, but yeah, that's it. Not bad. Uh, somebody just came to me, what do you want? Um, and and uh, I got a, a stack of games uh, to, to fill my table.